So here we have the Mini Cooper S five door hatchback automatic on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car, as I mentioned, with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. And you can lift this tray section away to increase that boot space even more. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run from the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. We have the rev counter on the left, the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. In the very middle, you've got the trip computer screen, and you can see the total mass of this car, which are 1,872. The information displayed above that can be changed using a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information or you can have a nice digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you paired up the phone and that's done on the central screen which we'll come to in just a second. We have these paddles as well, the minus and plus paddle just there. That is so that you can change gear manually on this automatic gearbox should you wish to. So over in the center, this is the touch screen for the car. So this is where you can, amongst other things, uh, pair your phone. So you can uh, manage mobile devices and connect a new phone from there. You can use it as a touch screen or you can do what I'm doing now and use this dial and this collection of buttons to control everything that you see up there. So for example, satellite navigation, we can access that. Uh, we can go down and look at the map view. There's a full video that shows exactly how this works, which you can find on our website. Uh, and also you'll find that on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to music in this car, we've got plenty of ways to listen to it. Uh, they include the radio, of course, so FM and DAB radio. We can stream our music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, and we have USB input as well. So say so plenty of ways to listen to your music. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures independently. The fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be redirected within the car from this one. Plus, when you're happy with those settings, uh, simply uh, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or off. It's on at the moment, so off, back on again. Or hit auto, and the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed for you. You can override that by pressing the auto button again. For those colder days, we have heated driver and passenger seats, a passenger one just there. Beneath that, these buttons just here. So starting from the left-hand side, this turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That's that system turned off. This one turns off traction control. And in the middle, you can start and stop the engine uh, with this button just here. You just need to make sure the key is somewhere in the car with you. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and the buttons that I was talking about just a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.